Hi Emmy, starting your March, mid, well to mid-March, uh, coming out of Mercury Retrograde, around the 10th, full moon for now, the 10th, depending whether you're in the UK or USA, depending where you are. Uh, yeah, I've got my coat on, I am freezing my bats off, so eating's on full. <laughs> so I'm going to go straight in for Aries, for energy, starting with March, now starting off with fire. So we've got patience and planning. They need to be patient and planning spiritually. So just be patient. Chill out. Stop overthinking. Chill. Chill your beans. So your challenge is the moon. Shadow. So we're coming up to it full moon. Um, so there's a need to release. There's a definitely a need to release, but I do like the shadow card anyway, because it is about your shadow self, about releasing your shadow self. Spirit's always got the upper hand. Uh, the challenge, eight and one, nan. Um, I think the full moon is on the nan. So it's about releasing, releasing things, patience and planning. So it's like releasing overthinking. That's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm feeling. Yeah, see, because I feel like you're overthinking finances. Financial and material changes. So you want financial and material changes, but I feel like you're blocking it because you're overthinking it. Just release it. Release the fears. Release the fear of lack and you bring it in. Recent past. Emperor. Nice. So we are in the era of the emperor. We've got the four. We're in the era of the emperor. So it, time to take control of your life. Time to take it in every aspect. Emotionally, financially, relationships yourself whatever um it's about taking control so that's recent past so that's why this energy is coming in we've got to release something and i think it's your thoughts was so at present positive movement forward so i feel like you're moving forward but you're not even seeing the the positives in it it's like you feel like you're on pause but i'm not seeing you on pause so we've got the eight as well the magic eight 2020 we're starting another eight cycle going from stormy waters to smoother waters but you're just not seeing it yet. Be patient. You'll you'll see it. Near future memories of love. So that's issues regarding children or someone around you. Um, I can feel it's more partner wise, like soulmate wise, because it is the six of cups. Maybe you've had to release past experiences in order to re you know get receive love in the future. Or we've got a couple that's working together to balance finances. So, your power, we've got a flyer. Yeah, see, stop ripping yourself apart when there's no need. Disruption card. Your power in the situation, piece yourself back together. It's just You're just feeling the Mercury retrograde energies. It's having an effect. Um, outside influences to that, your heart chakra. So, spirit want you to be happy. They want you to take control, they want you to be happy. Sorry, I just got a message. Hope, so fears. Hope. <laughs> Keep the hope. See this person in that. If I'm talking to a single Aries, it could be the fact that you're getting on top of your finances and you're looking after yourself. Spiritually, you're doing the self-work and it's all leading towards um, a relationship towards maybe the last four months in the year. That's what I just got. If, it, if it's a couple... I, like generally i feel like you're working together you've got to stop overthinking there's a it's like ego and spirit going at each other your outcome partnerships and alliances so again yeah i do feel if i'm speaking to single aries 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 they will be you will be forming new partnerships and alliances i'm seeing finances i'm seeing contracts i'm seeing um if two people are working together as a partnership, maybe husband and wife, or even just a partnership, it's flourishing. You've got to stop overthinking it because I'm not seeing no problems in it. The only problem I'm seeing is your power is to stop overthinking it and tearing yourself apart when there's no need. Um, so no overthinking. You've got all the power cut numbers there for this year, so that's nice. So let's see what's going on 3D-wise. It's getting warm now. <laughs> Ace of Earth, that's what I'm feeling, contracts. The inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. Whether that's a contract with spirit, to work with spirit, a soul contract with a person, or it is to do with money. 
we've got the ace verse so it's security it's uh stability so the challenge is the wheel the challenge is to get on that wheel the wheel of fortune a time positive change a situation suddenly moves forward fortune is on your side i think your challenge is to stop thinking neg negatively and allow this to come in because i feel like you're blocking it Why is it going around the hermit? So we've got Virgo energy. We've got spending time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching and self-discovery. So yeah, you could be on your spiritual path. That might be why you need to realise that you're blocking out good things manifesting. Uh, but the hermit as well, when I keep going, I keep going like singles and couples in your reading. Um, with it being the hermit, maybe it's time to come out of hermit mode. Even if you've been in a couple, maybe you've been feeling a bit down in hermit mode, you know. So, past seven of fire, defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. I feel it's more choose your battles with yourself. Self-talk, how you talk to yourself. Like, you don't see your worth in things. We've got two at present. Yeah, because you're seriously stressed out about money. We've got ten of fire, too much work, except out for mothers, life is out of balance, stress-related health concerns. It's the stress card, ten of wands. On top of that, the five of earth, fears surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others. So you've got two cards here saying accept help from others. Uncertain employment. It's coming, it's worry, it's lack, you're feeling lack. I want to clarify these anyway, near future. Seven of seeds. Seven of seeds. Mm. Seven of earth, seeds well planted. A temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. You're just on pause at minute. So just go with the flow. Go with the flow because the wheel's about to change in your favour. Your power in this situation. I've got two. So, yeah, see, this is, there is an offer coming in. They're out of fire. So whether this is love or whether this is money, it works for both. Falling in love, the need to balance your emotions, invitation to a social event, so it could be a, a job interview. On top of that, we've got the free of fire. Things look very good, abundance, have patience at this time, make long-term plans. So it could happen in March, being the third month. Three weeks, three months from now. You're just on pause, stop worrying. I feel like some of you are going to go self-employed. Outside influencers, enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. So that's what's influencing this reading. I feel like you're just worrying about money, but, it, but it's lack. It's ego, it's lack. I've got two for hope. So I want to be victorious, the six of fire. Victory, good news is on its way. The eight of earth, skilled work will be rewarded. Learn knowledge to know about a topic, going back to school. So your hope is that you learn some kind of, some of my areas is might be going to start in college or... Uh, uni or doing some form of study in order to be publicly recognised to get to gain this award you know and that's your hope so you could be worrying about exams you could be worrying but with life lessons we've got two for your outcome as well nice page of earth good news about financial matters wanting to do something more challenging a new area of study i was just feeling that so some of my areas is they're actually thinking yeah i'm going to do something brand new this year on top of that the free of earth the power of creativity recognition for very high quality of work being a team player joining a new team i feel like this job changes coming for some of my areas finances are going to get better queen of earth nice Make time for those around you, take a sensible approach, deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. But the Queen of Earth, she looks after her own shit, don't she? Look, she's manifested in her own pot of gold there. So I do like it. So let's have a look what the Witch's Tarot has got to say about this. So the Ace of Earth in the situation. So we've got the Ace of Cups and the 11-11. So we've got a wish granted, which will make you happy, some kind of contract. So whether it's in love or whether it's in business, it's an 11-11, it's a wish granted. So why's the wheel the challenge? Six of Pentacles. I feel like you, there's either not, not enough give and take, someone's taking a piss at work, or you need more money. Finances need upping. So you've got to accept that that wheel of fortune is going to come in, the hermit. Seven of Cups, options. What options are you going to take? You are the master of your own script. You've got, you're writing your own script. Are you leaving that job for a better one? Seven of Cups. So you have got options because you're not happy. We've got the sun in reverse. So you're not happy where you are. So Seven of Wands. 
King of Pentacles in reverse. So we could be around a greedy, selfish person or it's just lack. Let me clarify it. Feel like you haven't got enough. We've got the Six of Swords and the Nine of Swords in reverse. So coming out of that energy where you're in a prison of the mind, on top of that, they want you to move forward from stormy waters to smoother waters. So at the minute, the lack, King of Swords. So it's communication, we need communication. You might be keeping it to yourself. We've got the Empress. So what does the Empress do? She sows her own seeds. She reaps what she sows. She goes out there and she does her own fields, makes her own stuff. We've got the lovers. So it definitely could be within a business within a relationship or a business within yourself. Uh, talking about finances yourself. Um, you could be dealing with an air sign. We've got um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. We've also got Gemini with the lovers being there. And the Queen of Cups. So we've got water sounds. We've got air and water here. So if this isn't about finances, it's about being left for someone else. It's already happened. Like you've been left for someone else. But you're on to better things because there's options opening up for you. Seeds well planted, temporary portion that's all in action. Yeah, it's just we're just waiting to get out of that mental battle now. Mental healing. Yeah, because there's truth and clarity coming in the Ace of Swords. I keep getting contracts, signing contracts. So your power in this situation with the, the abundance and the offer is victory moving forward to a commitment. So whether it is love, commitment, whether it is... I'm seeing contracts. So it could be contracts in work, contracts in love. We've got the Emperor. So we've got um, Taurus Energy. So it could be going, we could be going into Taurus with this, um, or it could be a Taurus, we've got the end, but it's you, your power is to be victorious and take control. So the self-employment, the enjoying, see we've got player energy, it's that. So have you been in and out of jobs and you couldn't settle, nothing suited you, you know, because I'm not getting player energy as in, it, I could have if you're in this love triangle here, that'll pick it up. But, you know, the outside influence, we've got player energy. Maybe you've walked away from a player and now you're going out on your own. So what are you going to do? It's a brand new life. We've got the King of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles again. So emotionally, you're planting the seeds. I think you're healing emotionally from some kind of um, event. So the victory and the studying, the Eight of Cups. So positive, positive movement forward, emotional movement forward. It's the eight, it's starting a new karmic cycle. Six of cups in reverse. So we've got that soulmate energy again in reverse. So I do feel like you're going it on your own. So now you're a bit blindfolded as to where, where you're going, what you want to do. It's like you're starting a brand new life. I think you're signing your own soul contract. Five of wands in reverse though, you're coming out of that mental battle. So the outcome with good finances, working together as part of a team, being creative and the Queen of Earth as your outcome is you coming back into own your shit. So there's recovery, new contracts, whether that be in love or finances, the Eight of Pentacles. So again, it, it's like learning a life lesson, gaining that blue Peter badge, but she sat there doing her self-work, working on herself, a lot of self-work, but it's also earning more. She's concentrating on the finances. Five of Cups in reverse, so no regrets, no longer looking backwards. You've been hurt by some kind of offer. So it's like there was some offer made or rejected, which has caused, caused the Three of Swords, but the Moon in reverse now. So you're releasing it, you're letting it go. So I hope that makes sense to someone out there, but you rele you're releasing it, you'll release it. There's definitely better out there for you. Okay, bye. Oh, like comment, subscribe, whatever you do, ring the bell, ding dong, bye. <laughs>